Here on CNBC, you all saw and heard Apple's CEO Steve Jobs roll out the new Apple iPod Shuffle last week. That's the company's low-cost digital music alternative to Apple's more expensive iPod products. But who makes the parts that make the shuffle shuffle? CNBC's Corey Johnson with our Texan report. What's inside your iPod is more than music. And it might be music to investors' ears, because supplying components to the iPod is becoming big business. Apple might keep its suppliers a closely held secret, but David Perry has broken the code. I've been taking apart things since I was a young child. Perry has two dozen destruction engineers at a company called Portelligent. Their job? To rip apart gadgets, lots of gadgets, to see what's inside. Phones from Nokia, Motorola, the top players, game boxes from Microsoft and Sony, Nintendo and others, uh, PDAs from HP, Dell, all the usual suspects, digital cameras from Kodak, uh, Olympus, Nikon. Bins upon bins of dismembered gadgets line the walls at Portelligent's so-called morgue in Austin, Texas. The casualties of Portelligent's special brand of research. Every product we look at is sort of a, a fingerprint of the supply chain and the company behind it. So we asked Carrie to do a teardown of a brand new iPod shuffle. Consistent with the, the rumors that have been around, uh, we see a part here from Sigmatel, which is really the central IC in the system, does all the audio processing. Looks like we have a part from Samsung of Korea. Uh, based on that part number, that's a 4 gigabit NAND flash chip. On his website, teardown.com, Kerry and his team of engineers published the results of torn down cameras, cell phones, and yes, iPods, as the understanding of gadgets leads to an understanding of our changing world. We try and focus on those things where there is some degree of turmoil in the industry and sort of inside questions that need to be answered and investigated. So who employs Portelligent? Well, that is top secret, but it's not just investors. Manufacturers use Portelligent to find out what makes their competitors tick. Semiconductor discard manufacturers use Portelligent to find out what business they're missing. It's opposition research textile. Sue? Thank you very much. Corey Thompson. Okay. He did it as a child, took stuff apart. Now he does it for a living. We'll take a break and come back after this. Okay.